Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurav and today in this video tutorial we will learn about the python scipy curve fit. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video tutorial. First we will know about what is a curve fit in scipy. Then we will understand python scipy curve fit Gaussian. After this we will know about python scipy curve fit max fev at the end we will know about python scipy curve fit exponential now move to the first topic what is a curve fit in scipy the curve fit method of module scipy.optimize that apply non linear least square to a fit the data to a function that apply non linear least square to fit the data to a function the syntax of the method is as follows scipy.optimize dot curve fit where parameters are x data it is a independent variable used to measure the data it can be any object but should be typically be an m length sequence or a k m shaped array for a function with k predictors f this is the model function the independent variable must be the first argument and the subsequent argument must be fitting the parameter separately y data it is a length m array with nominally as the dependent data p0 it is a parameter initial best guess if it is known all the starting values will be 1 sigma it determines the y data level of uncertainty absolute sigma if it is true the computed parameter covariance p cov represent the absolute values of sigma in its application we will use this method to fit the data in the upcoming topics the next topic is python scipy curve fit gaussian the form of charted plot is what we refer to as the data set distribution when we plot a data set like a histogram like a histogram the bell curve usually referred to as the gaussian or normal distribution is the most frequently seen shape for continuous data let's fit the data to the gaussian distribution using the method curve fit with the help of an example import the required methods or libraries so here we are importing method curve fit from the library scipy.optimize then importing numpy as np after this importing matplotlib as plt execute the code now create a xy data using a python list execute the code to make a use of numpy array useful capabilities convert x data and y data into them execute the code now create a gaussian function with parameter x a and b where y is equal to a into np dot exponential which contains the expression minus 1 bx square execute the code now fit the data to gaussian function and extract the required parameter values so here we have extracted these values fit a and fit b and pass this value to a to a function gaussian fun execute the code now plot the distribution using this code execute the code from the output we have fitted the data to gaussian distribution approximately as we can see in the picture this is how to fit the data to gaussian distribution using the method curve fit The next topic is Python scipy curve fit max fab. The method curve fit of Python scipy accepts the parameter max fab that is the maximum number of a function calls. When we fit the function to a data without initial guess, it shows an error. Optimal parameters not found. Number of calls to a function has reached the max fab equal to 600. That means the function is called 600 times and didn't find any optimal parameter. So here in this topic we will take an example First we will see about this error then we will increase the value of max fab to see if it finds the optimal parameters import the required method or libraries so here we are importing module optimize from the library scipy then importing numpy as np execute the code now here we have specified some data that are similarly spaced in time and a range of temperature in the hope that they would fit the exponential that resemble a charging capacitor in addition to defining error bars on the temperature values we have taken this area of temperature and, and added some random noise to it execute the code now fit the data using method optimize dot curve fit execute the code as we can see the code didn't run and look at the resulting error optimal parameter not found number of calls to a function has reached max fab equal to 600 let's use the same code with additional parameter equal to max fab which is equal to 800 and execute the code this time we have successfully fitted the data with the help of max fab this is how to use the parameter max fab with the method curve fit now the last topic of this tutorial is python scipy curve fit exponential we already know about curve fit method in the scipy.optimize module of scipy path 
We already know about the curve fit method in the scipy.optimize module of the scipy python package that fits a function to data using non-linear list squares. As a result, in this topic, we will develop an exponential function and provide it to the method curve fit so that it can fit the generated data. Let's see with an example. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np, then importing matplotlib as plt, after this importing module optimized from the library scipy execute the code now create an exponential function like this execute the code now use the code to define the data so that it can be fitted with the noise fit for the parameter of the function exp func and also restrict the optimization to a specific area now pass the above data to a method optimize curve fit to fit that data execute the code from the output we can see that the fitted data to an exponential function Using the method curve fit, this is how to fit the data to an exponential function using the method curve fit. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed posts about Python SciPy curve fit on the website pythonguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about Python SciPy curve fit and learn about how to fit the data to a different distribution using the method curve fit. So at last, I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.